one played it, but that was specifically in an Ash lane. And Bin not going to show a new champion, instead going back to the Aatrox. The team finding power of this uh, BLG comp is, especially in the mid game. Only cleanse on Pays as well. On can look for that handshake to light standing in front. There's the ignite. Pays cleanses with a flash follow to him. Shun means that Pays pays the ultimate price. Bailout on On won't get him out of dodge this time. One for one trade in the bottom lane. The the play is worth it though. I mean, Genji. At this point in the game, obviously very early, should consider themselves much weaker. Amount of damage. And one in the highlight, they've kind of phased away now, but two very deep wards. One in the lane from BLG and also just next to the Krug camp in the lane itself so they can just keep information as to whether or not Peanut is trying any lane ganks. And you can see that BLG's game plan is so committed to Grab playing around bots. On's gonna get rude. He doesn't have flash, remember. Flash forward by Peanut and On pays the price. In the bottom lane, Gen G back on the board. Pays gets his second of the game. Doran trading in the top lane. Grandmaster's might onto Bin. Bin tries to turn it back around. Doran trying to get the empowered autos off. Both of them still have their. So if a dive does occur or materialize, Peanut is in the right position at the right time. And the Not Gods looking for something as they go forward. Bin has to flash away. Doran has a flash. Follow Counter Strike coming out. And Bin is locked up and sent packing by Gen G. And does this Herald, though. I don't know if Peanut his reinforcements are on the way. The light's on his way across. No fates call yet for Elk, so half the time on that. But they do have the hostile takeover if they want to look for more. Shun goes in, they find Pays. Cataclysm down with the Devour already used by Delight. And now the hostile takeover popping as well. The shield from Pays. He tries to cleanse away, but he's slowed. Severum's going to heal him up, but Peanut pulled back with a handshake. And BLG win out the skirmish. Really big win. Delight here trying to trade towards this dragon would be the second of the game for BLG. And Delight's just being a nuisance. He knows they can't take this away out players of the entire tournament. People were putting him in the conversation for best performing AD is Chovy. Down has Flash, but he's not going to be able to get away from Pina, who lands the stun immediately. The Shockwave only catches onto Chovy, and Yagao is going to get chased down here. Chovy puts down the soldiers, and Yagao is buried beneath their feet. Doran with a good jump away, but Shun chases in, and still it's only Shun that's picked up kill. First completed item. Overall, as you say, it's a bit of a boxing match, match between these two. Currently on points, no knockdowns. See, he has a lot of these moments as the contest is going to come through. TP in. Shun can look for this. Counter TP burned by Yagao. Shun on the front line. Bin's going to dash across the wall. The Riftout down to 1,000. Hostile takeover, though, is going to do so much work. Pace already berserk as the line is forced away. And now Doran's in the midst of BLG. And Bin is looking to send him packing into the recycling ego. Uh, the positioning of Elk as well. Fantastic fight from BLG. Now they're in a comfortable lead against Genji. Domestically, was their ability to identify we shouldn't do this and just go for a good cross map. And I think that that is something that internationally they just haven't really been able to show. And in this game, we're seeing it again. T1 is the team of, no, 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 we take the and fight. Chase forward, but Yagawa is in the right position to stop them. The Magnus Storm from Peanut, he's nowhere near them. It's just miles away, they got an EpiPen or something because Peanut not doing anything to them as BLG secure the ocean. And that was a peanut at world's moment if I've ever seen one. The engage goes wide. Genji now don't have an easy way to start the fight. Doran. Going to get brought back. Pops the stopwatch. Handshake coming out. Moonlight Vigil does hit the Inferno. There's the hostile takeover. Cataclysm onto the back line though. And Doran's been locked up. The Shockwave finds him. The Devourer comes out as Chovy starts to retreat. But already it's two kills to BLG. And Genji are found wanting by the unwanted aggression from BLG. And it's again BLG able to very calmly play out this scenario. They set up full control. They know that Genji has to walk in. Peanut has to go for a desperation play. But with the ultimate gone, no Magnet Storm, no engage. There is nothing that they can do than the turn from BLG, who are more than happy to look for a fight. That's soul. Meanwhile, we need to look at mid, because what damage has been able to do against this tower, he's getting a lot more work done. Doran can't do much to hold him off and BLG at least will unlock a tier two. It's not like Chovy and Doran can get back on Nexus and the persistence is rewarded here for BLG. Also courtesy to the Ocean Soul in a situation yeah, like... In the pit. That's well big. done by BLG to make sure they cleared out all their oh, corners. Shun. And Shun can look for more because Peanut dismounted right now. Remounts, you just go for it. EQ in, flag and drag, Cataclysm as well. Delight has to flash as this Peanut. Inferno from the side means that On is down to half HP, but that's so much invested by Gen G. And with not too much gain, they have mid wave prio, but will it be enough? Elder spawns, Elk starts it, Finn keeps Doran and Peanut at bay. No flash for Peanut, remember, just burns it. But he can get into this fight. The Shockwave finds Chobi, Delight, and Pay is now beginning to step it up. 
Devour available for Delight Pace, dodges the Berserk for the hostile takeover, already finds one, and Bin is done with this game. The Elder Secure Pace tries to dash away, but Bin puts him in his place as BLG clean up in the river. And BLG immediately head towards the bot side of the map. Wave is ready, no turret standing there. Doran desperately trying to draw some attention, but it was not enough, and BLG take a resounding victory here in game number one. And it looks like Gen G and Masai might have been half a year ago, but it's not looking that different in game number one. I tell you, there's all the time between these two teams. It seems as BLG come out to an early lead and are able to snowball it away from Gen G. A few mistakes for Gen G. Doran as well in the top lane specifically had struggled into bin after a few good early forays and BLG never let go of the reins. Gen G respawning, but the Elder still stands on BLG and they can look for the fight. The Magnus Storm finds two, but Pays pulled back and he's just deleted by the laser. Peanut follows suit and BLG playing with Gen G as they clean it up to go 1-0 up in this quarterfinal. Shun's only death to the net. Into Cataclysm, into Shockwave combo. Zaya self peels. Renata can peel her as well. And in all honesty, if I if I played entirely nameplates off, even with nameplates on, damn it, BLG have a composition. The early here as they look for the chase. Elk and On both have their flashes. Elk already invested a ghost flash forward. Twisted advance, knocked back onto On. And Gen G played to this tune in game one. The bear now coming out and On will be brought back. And now Delight is next on the menu, and Elk can turn it around, double buffs for him. It's gonna be two, but a great flash from Delight, got escape. Yeah. To range of Elk to get that execution. If nothing else, they were gonna get a one for one. They turned it into two for one, now BLG look for the dive. Knock up on door, and he tries to flash away, but the chase is there, and the Ignite is ticking. Bing tanking, the tower shots can flash away. Peanut trying to answer as well, but he can't find a good play. Since then, he has been so consistent. He's been such an integral part of the 15-1 record that BLG maintained through the regular season. Shun here smites away. On is looking for a little bit more. They can harass. No flash, Pace Peanut. has flash, though. They look for Peanut. The handshake's going to pull him back. And Peanut, even in the cozy campfire, will find nothing but death and despair. Pays now chased away. Has the flash to get across the wall. They try and turn on to Shun, but Pays has to burn his flash as Chobi goes in. But G2, they looked very convincing for the large part outside of losing game two. Doran now going for a bit of a trade. Yeah, nice trade against Bin. Bin on his way with the Nature's Grasp as well, but you can see Shun ready to react. Bin rooted up. Shun is on his way. The Equalizer down, and Doran's burning. Bin trying to turn it around, and Doran will fall the first, and Peanut's buried next to his brother as BLG strike. The crazy thing is, Bin's the least of your worries. You, yeah. yeah, like Elk had a 2k gold lead in the AD carry matchup. Lead two Drakes and a Herald to BLG. The scoreline reads six to one. Bot lane towers about to fall as five plates have already been brought off there. Mid lane, we've already got a plate gone down. Top lane, we've already got a plate gone down. This is as one-sided as with a little bit of exaggeration, any game we have seen at Worlds as the TP comes up towards the top lane. Trophy's gonna knock Bin back, and finally, Gen G are finding something proactive. Bin is going to try and get his way away here. Will fall down, equalize on the wave to make sure it's cleared out. The game over to BLG, and it is looking dire for Gen G. I'm, I'm perplexed. I am like a has Mid lane, that's going to unlock this tower. Hey, I'm a, I'm a glass glass half full kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it really matter? It's it's fine. <laughs> you know, that's the one. If you're going to do it in any uh, but, you know, that's that's me. I, I have a, a bit of a personal stake, as in they go. They do okay, find engage onto Shun. He has the flash, goes in with the Cataclysm, and now there's the TP. Hostile takeover from on as well. He's going to catch two. The Equalizer down, and Chovy is burning in the river. Lava underneath this speed is Doran. Probably regretting that lack of flash now as Yagao catches him with the Shockwave. The EQ combo from Shun. Sends him to an early break. through these games. There's the Nature's Grass as Gen G look for something. Baron up in 10 seconds. If you find a fight here, maybe you can turn it into more. The hostile takeover being popped. Chovy dodges away from the shockwave as Peanuts in the back of the pit. Doran trying He's to get out. onto Elk, but Elk yet untouched. And Doran, the warm hugs are not enough to keep him alive as Elk flashes forward. Pays is about to meet his maker as Elk sends him. A resounding 2 0 lead in this series, surely from here on out, within a minute. BLG. Yeah. It's been a, a bit of an up and down, well, few. Chovy will sidestep the shockwave, but huge props to BLG. I did not tout them as favorite. Oh, Chovy. 
Neither of the mid laners able to hit their ultimates in that trade. Yagao has a two level lead as well, and now is chasing Chovy and Peanut down. Chovy has to flash away. Peanut tried to trade back in, but remember, there's an Infernal Soul on this Oriana. The Sun Disc comes down as Peanut continues to be forced away. The rest of BLG are looking for the Nexus. Yagao keeps everyone interested as the Equalizer popped on pace. Yes, TP. Doran trying to defend, been pulled back. TP available for Yagao as now he recalls. Elk takes the first Nexus Tower and BLG start to disengage. I'm pretty sure Yagao actually flashed Chovy. Oh, the, is the breath of life! Oh, just about keeps Pays alive, but now Bin and Shun are looking for more. They've taken Dorm and Bin will fall. Yagao TP's in, no shockwave on him for about 20 seconds, but the EQ flash onto Chovy. He dashes in, but the Elk has the escape tool. Like Better. four minutes into the game, and yep. BLG are about to set up for a Eternal Soul. Even with a steal, I don't think it's enough. The thing is, even if it's a steal, you get the fight that you look for, but Peanut decides against flashing in and trying to smite the Baron. Super Minion's pushing in the bottom lane. Reset starting to happen from Yagao. He can TP into these Supers. Baron buffed them up quickly. Instead, TPs to the mid lane to join his team because he knows Trophy has to answer the minions battering down the base. Shun goes forward with the flag and drag, and that's another inhibitor tower forfeit by Gen.G and happily taken by BLG. Time is running out for Gen.G, at least in this game, maybe in Worlds, if they can't find a way to fight back against BLG in game three. BLG were underdogs at MSI. They're underdogs here again at Worlds, but despite that, they stand strong and they're looking to go to match point against Gen.G. It has been destruction, demolition, the most one-sided series we have seen in a while here at Worlds. Peanut has to flash away. The Cataclysm in will end Chovy's day, and now Doran and the rest of Gen.G can only stand and watch on the fountain, but even there, they are not safe from the unending assault of BLG. Not to be harassed down. Braum as well. Oh, they thought it was going to be the Larks, but Braum into Nort is an absolute delight for On, not for Delight. In fact, it will be despair for Delight against On, who will very much be On in this dragon. Having the, uh, the bot lane that always gets the push it helps you out a huge amount as we see the dragon secured for BLG. The second seed from the LPL when you are the favorites coming in. Only extenuate those circumstances as the Nature's Grass comes out. Smite secured by Peanut as they look for the engage world ender. Chobi with a great base seal locks up two. Yagao trying to join the fray. Bin low, but he's able to dash away. Dora going forward. First blood to Gen.G and signs of life for Gen.G and signs of life here in Busan. And Yagao doesn't have flash because of the earlier play. We'll see if Peanut can extend, but he yes, dies! Shockwave. Peanut goes Timber, Ace in the hole on Delight. The Glacial Fish are going wide, but Flash Ignite into the Piltover Peacemaker. 2v2 kill found, oh, Delight, Delight now. Depth charge onto Elk, he still has Flash, he still has heal, but where's he gonna dash to? As the Gen G bot lane comes to life as well. Much needed play there for Gen G. Delight finds his opportunity. Trophy going in with the. Soul and Baron pull back with the shock but he can dash away. The face seal blocked though with the Cataclysm. And Chobi will fall. No ultimate. Peanut has his. The Nature's Grass possibility is there's the Glacier Fisher. Nature's Grass used, but they all line up. Good hook onto the back line as the TP is now invested from either side. Chobi trying to come in from the top side of the fight, but Dorian's already dead. And now pays them to cleanse away. The ace in the hole finds his prey, but only 100 HP. Two series, the rate at which he's able to react with TPs to make these cross maps happen. The moment he sees that door, great effect, but. The level of harassment that this champion can provide is so difficult to deal with. Give this one up. Yep, they just decide top lane tower is more important. Finn makes sure they don't lose the turret off it as well. So it's a Drake for a tower trade across the map. Also vision control gained once again by BLG up towards the top river. Not too much of it. Wasn't quite able to see exactly how much they got because obviously we see the Oriana there. But there's the TP, Nature's Grass coming out as the collapse onto Peanut was a possibility, but in the end, doesn't bear fruition. Small wind or for a uh, small wind there for Genji on specifically the teleport, but yeah, BLG still going to be happy with the trade, uh, giving up a single Drake, not the end of the world. TP coming in here, they want to hold to the, uh, onto this turret. Chovy has TP as well. No wards behind for him to get to, and with the snap trap lineup, yeah. felt like the tower was pretty much lost. Could have just kept pushing in the bot lane, but. They try to invest some resources into defending. Delight is looking for Yagao, but Shun steps in the way. The Depths are coming out as well, and the Killer Instinct, a possibility here for Paisy. Dives in, they find Yagao, the shockwave. It's not going to be enough. And Genji. Seconds before it's back off cooldown.
Yeah, also just in general, gonna be hesitant, right, to engage on the brawn as Chovy. Gonna use his health bar to make sure he gets looking. JG uh, don't have to contest this. They don't. But every time we've said that so far they in this series, they do. have been contested. Like they've committed it, so. two TPs to yep. mid lane now. There we are, Chovy and Doran join the fray. Stopwatch completed on Chovy. I think a fight is brewing. Bin locked up for the moment. He'll be able to dash away. Chovy pulled back by the soul unbound. Chenji don't really have the vision control as of yet. They're gonna try and garner it now, but there's wards behind them as well. The dragon started would be the second for Gen G. Down to 5,000. Bin with the Dominus. Slowed. Stopped by Doran, who acts as a bodyguard. Now the hook onto Bin. Knocked up with a death charge as well as Bin tries to heal himself up. Chovy getting onto the back line with the shockwave. Pulls him is out. That? Shut out. Chovy down. But him is pays to find another the dragon going over. Flash away from Elf. Twist and advance. They dive as well. On on the front line. Trying to get in the way as Shun forces Pays away. Shun will take down Pays. And Elk still standing like he's ever been for BLG. Elk still survives, but Doran finally comes. Vision cleared out by Shun. The dragon down to 4,000 as Gen G look to push forward, push BLG off. Infernal change, there's the nature's grass as well. The dragon's secured, it's Shun that gets it. Do we see Baron. it? The Baron has been begun. There's the TP from Chovy, Delight. Looking for Vision in the pit, puts a control ward in. Dorman going forward with the World Ender. And on the back of the wings of the World Ender, Genji look to make their final stand. BLG's fate sealed by the combination of the Aatrox and the Yone. And Busan roars into life. It is the flank that they've been looking for. It feels like the entire series. Finally, Genji get the jump on BLG, who tried to bite off a little bit more than they can chew and at the very least genji gonna walk away with a baron here well played fight from genji elk didn't even get to use his flash the collapse was fantastic very clearly at the top the siege will now begin tier two gonna drop in the bot lane they've kept chovy in mid. four on five and five uh, what i well, assume will be around baron uh, with the amount of control the lead they are a terrifying team to play against. They're really Ooh, good Dorman at... Dorman level 18 already. Able to keep the rest of BOG away and Delight and Dorman teaming up to make sure that BOG are on the back foot as Jovi goes forward, ongoing in. Jun looking for the Cataclysm as well. Pops his stopwatch as Dorman goes down. The, dra the Baron secured. And BOG can look for more. How much further can they chase? Not much is the answer. Gen G sacrificed their top laner, but secure the Baron. Going to be a win for Gen G, but BLG are going to try and look for a window here. We're pretty late into the game. It's 45 seconds on Doran before he is back up. At the very least, BLG should be able to get themselves some turrets. Maybe even trying to push for an inhibitor here. Bin is going to TP in. I mean, look at top lane. Uh, Chovy's just chosen the split push. He's going to be able to secure that tower. What do BLG do now? I think that this is their best opportunity to actually fight. They have a numbers advantage. An inhibitor will be much quarterback. And it might just be a soul into a Baron, into an Elder. You have to give credit to the LPL 2 seed. So consistently able to find. Here we go. Wins is on. Steps forward. Infernal Chains will drag him back. Bin acting as a frontline. Chobi looking for the flank position. Shun tries to dive onto him. The Mortal Steel gets the knock-up. Doran going forward has been with the Dominus is locked up. Stopwatch, is it enough to buy him enough time to get out? It is for now, but Pay dies forward and Bin dies and Genji. We're try we're going to try and defend for as long as we can. Uh, assuming he can take that inhibitor down, which then should draw them just a single member from BLG away. And there you go, they've unlocked the bottom tower. As long as they can play away from the Caitlyn, then uh, Genji can slowly chip away. You can see now BLG being divided. The Yone in the top lane. Chovy the target for now, but the cannon minions doing enough work on those inhibitors. Inhibitors in the bottom lane will fall. Pays locked up, flashes away. The Cataclysm will get his GA, but is it enough here for BLG? Doran coming in from the flank as Pays is brought back to life. The flag and the drag from Shun is just found a wanting, but the engage continues from BLG. Gen G disengaged. He sells it immediately. We'll see what he picks up. Looks like he's going back to boots. Trophy, not done though, wants to pick up this inhibitor. Part of Om's ultimate actually clips him, gets the knock up. It's enough as Chovy. He's gonna kill him. Falling low. Has the shield, Ooh. but it's just enough to keep him alive. BLG were pushing forward to try and fight for the Elder, but Gen G are looking for the Nexus. Shun already called out as they look for more. 
Gen's trying to get away, but there's one, there's two, there's more! The Gen G! Bay's diving forward, the Killer Instinct living up to its name as Shun tries to get away and will escape to live another day. But the Nexus, the target in the eyes of Gen G, as they are looking to fight back in this series. A reverse sweep is what it will take, and Gen G have taken the first step. A crazy game. It kind of works more in Delight's wheelhouse. It yeah. is very much more in his wheelhouse. I'm a bit more disappointed in it, but the he's still an incredibly good route. Still yeah. from Raul can be pretty effective against the Tom Kench. Um, but all right, Gen G. I Does would say Payson looking for this? A lot of minions going to be lost to the tower. TP in from Dorman, but he can be stopped by Bin, and he is, in fact, in the top lane. Delight looked for the engage flash away from on. Shun can go in now. EQ flash away from Pays. The flash doesn't follow, but Pays is dead. The flip back onto On is not enough. On not tanking the tower. Abyssal Voyage forward. The dodge from Delight. He still has Flash. Elk now tanking the tower. Shun and On haven't hit Elk. Uh, haven't hit Delight. And Shun's coming down as well. This wave pushing away from Pays and Delight means that Shun can just push forward himself. Elk trying to open up with the Rangers. Focus the engage onto Elk. He still has Flash heal, but he doesn't have time to get out. Delight gets the kill. Not what you would have wanted for Genji. Meanwhile, Bin trading with Doran in the top lane, and I know who's winning this one. Kasante doing Kasante things as the double flash has been used, but there's no dodge for the Q3, and as Doran puts on his dancing shoes, can't find them. They're definitely not down and out just yet, but they needed to make something happen. But should now looking for something. Down looking for the flank as well. No flash on Pays, none on Delight either, or even Peanut. Pays pops the cleanse, but he's been locked up and he'll be shut out of the battle. Shun takes the kill. Delight next on the menu. He's ready for a tongue lashing. Yagao flashing. That's been enough. That should still be the Drake going over. Doran picks at least up a little bit of gold, but I think BLG is going to take that trade anytime whoa, whoa, as they teleport again. His like, can you kill Bin? At this point, you We're have about to find out. Only Medic. a Divine Sundra, the Equalizer down onto Bin, doesn't take too much damage. The Rift Hell charges in, the Magnet Storm there, as well as the Enchanted Crystal Arrow hits underneath the tower. Bin dashing away, surviving Fate's Call used as well, but Peanut with excessive force finds okay. the What you're playing into, the carries, and uh, like aside from Tom Kench, we might see it right here. Just looking for Elk, maybe trying to get the Devourer down. Does have the flash, doesn't have the flash, in fact, to get away. Enchanted Crystal Arrow into the Magnus Storm. Chovy extending forward, but the Devourer still available for BLG here as Pace tries to get on towards the back line, but Delight now pulled out with the Fates Call. Abyssal Voyage forward by On. Chovy walking away, wounded. On with the flash forward. And Shun coming in from the side. Chovy cataclysmed and brought to his knees, and BLG yeah. walking yeah. forward. I'm nah, just going to clear the way. Not Shun feeling it. Just taking the red as well. And I, I think a lot of it comes down to what you mentioned, Chronicler, which is they invest is there to try and dissuade BLG, so it would be at least one tower. Maybe two if they wanted to go in with the charge, but it looks like NG, oh, it's control war deep behind, and BLG's blue. Can Chovy survive? What could be a five-man dive? Gao coming in as a clone of Elk, and Chovy will realize as the arrow hits, he might be just caught out. He tries to flash, but he can't get away in time. Knocked back with the Intopos. And Chovy stayed a little bit too long. Didn't respect the arrow from Elk. And a nice snipe comes through from Elk. Now PLG with, I was going to say five members strong, but Bin choosing to reset means that they can continue the siege onto the top tier two. And that is also Chovy investing his flash, right? In yeah. the previous play, didn't have it. So it's going to be a very favorable trade here for Peanut. After a brief delay last year at Worlds, Peanut stepping forward here as the engage comes in from BLG and Peanut's locked up. Yagao pops, blossoms as Genji starts to go pop. The equalizer coming down and Shun now on the wrong side of the rip, but he can just EQ back to join his team. Pays rooted with the tango bars as Chovy looks for the back line of the Devourer. Save for this eventuality, he has to dash away. No smite for Genji. But a fight perhaps begins to materialize. No tangle barbs, remember, for BLG, only the Cataclysm. And the Devourer put on. Do you go in with the Magnus Storm? You do, Delight tries to dive in. Doran trying to burn BLG alive as on. It's taken out by the re-engage from BLG. Perfection executed once again. Doran and Chovy in a 2v4 fighting for the lives of Genji, for the lives of the LCK, but can't... To boot. And now Genji... Staring down a very long walk back into this game. Two items complete on Pei's Ginsu's and the Blade of the Ruin King. Yagao here, cease and desist coming out as they try and lock him up. Doesn't have the flash, but has the pot blossom. Chobi dashes in, dashes back, dashes out, and dashes forward for the kill. Peanut takes it. Can they get out though? 
Looks like there will be. BLG don't want to overinvest towards the top side of the map on the cross map. Bin is able to still push. He said it'll slow BLG down a little bit, but I don't know if it's enough. The wave clear. Oh! Magnasaur flash engaged. The equalizer down as well as the TP. Genji have pulled the trigger and they're looking to burst out Elk. Jovi dashing around and Elk will fall. It's hunting season for Genji and they found what could be the biggest kill of them all. They found a way back into game four. I thought that it wouldn't be enough, but Genji just shut me right up. A beautiful engage in mid lane. Catches BLG completely off guard. And just like that, as you said, Medic, Genji have found a lifeline. Might be able to get the kill on Bin here as well, and he's going to be disjointed. Uses the mobility. Oh god, Cassante takes. Yeah, Bin just doing Bin things here on the Cassante, and Tofu's come out. Shields! The short slings off the plate is not enough. The shields it's not. now being finished for Chovy. Level 15, soon to hit level 16. Elk. Equalizer. Elk has flash heal. He tries to get across the wall and gets into the razor meat pit, but on is deleted. Chovy looking for more. He's going to dive forward into four members. He has a stopwatch, but does he have enough time? The pop blossom comes out. Chovy survives as he gets off towards the top side of them. It's Yagao. And Busan roars into life once again. And there is no objective up, but Gen G, it feels different in this fourth game. They should be able to, at the very least, get themselves a turret here. And again, Yagao gets caught out on Die Saving Elk. The momentum has clearly swung. Saving play. Let's see if Shun. he can find another. Shun looking for a fight. Look away. Oh, Delight! Trivio and Delight goes in. On trying to keep Elk alive. The pop blossom comes out just in time from Yagao. But Yagao is yeah. gone. And BLG might be too. Elk trying to do everything he can. But Elk has been mounted on a wall. Delight survives. BLG die. Please. And Gen G do it all. They have fought back from the absolute brink in game two. And it looks like we're going all the way. It's a clean ace for Gen G. The Nexus is in their eyes and they're looking to... Oh, oh, oh no. never, mind. never mind. Out of the eyes. It's so hard consistently. But as you already pointed out, the big enabler of all of this is this damage. Five kills for him now. 2-1-11 for Doran. And the biggest prize of all of that Nexus the arrow. The arrow onto Doran, but Delight is in the way. If BLG overstep, there's the equalizer already. Doran getting chunked out, and Doran is donezo. Chovy pushing in the mid lane. Delight can re engage. No flash for him to disengage this, Shun. though. Shun misses the flag and drag across the wall. The stun from Delight. And if Yagao can find a flank, that'll be the difference maker. Chronicle was talking about it earlier. Oh, here we go. In. The devourer immediately. Delight tanky enough, but Chovy is being dealt with by BLG right now. The Pop Blossom doesn't find it. Pace flashes the wall and immediately engages. Chovy's on a rampage now, and Gen G are just grinding up BLG. A double for Chovy. They wipe them away. The TP towards mid. Gen G are done with this game. He's 17 and he's flashing over a wall with his back against the wall. Pace still find the play. Bindo. You know, <laughs> relentless force. And even more aggression from Genji. Delight in pays after being put behind in the early game of putting on a clinic here at 35 minutes. It's game five, a reverse sweep on the cards for Genji. And Busan and all Korea are behind them. This series has taken a turn after game nine. Change you when Delight had such a great game in game four. So Senna, Tom Kench, uh, a scaling option still, but not really. Position our observers highlighting how awkward this is for Genji in the early game, and Jun is looking. Doran underneath the tower, EQ flashes over, Doran able to flash away, oh, and I will tick him down, and he will fall first blood to BLG. BLG using the fact they have push mid, push bot, will get the first Drake of the game. A little later than some of the ones we've seen, but still relatively fast. The today. fact that. BLG invest the resources. We don't really want to have to react instantaneously to it, so instead we'll give it up, get push in top. Make sure that Doran uh, gets back from, or gets out of his deficit that was set up earlier. We've been getting the early kill, and there is no cross map. You saw everyone on BLG war, or, uh, decided to recall. Both these teams, the TP, 
They didn't know Shun was here. They do now, double TP invested. Bin, still no flash, does have the equalizer. Chovy dancing around, cease and desist available to Peanut. Doesn't use it because Bin is already done for. Chovy takes the kill. Meanwhile, the Magnet Storm onto Elk. He tries to flash away. Pay stepping forward, has the killer instinct on. Is pushing in the side lane. No TP for him to join the fight. Yagao with the shockwave, but Pace takes him out. The killer instinct finds its mark. Dorman locked up with the last embrace, but I don't think he is. It's a, <laughs> it's a situation where I love Gen At the very least, BLG are able to make sure that they get the topside turret. Doran will immediately answer back. And we'll see if Genji is able to respond or if BLG is going to get another charge. And this, you know, the only goal they obviously. Going back uh, to the wave, but. Still the dragon, though. Genji used the time to take the Drake, and BLG will have Pryo down the mid lane, but. How much can they get out of that? The tower is still standing for now, but not for much longer. It will be full FL. All the way down towards the blue whoa, whoa, as well. Whoa, 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 This is a massive mistake from Genji. The LG won't do it too quickly. It's only Shun, Yagao, and Bin there Dorn right now. Mega. Coming in as well. But Dorn's they don't know. Fall off. Mega Delight can step forward. The control ward in the Baron pit allows Genji vision of it. Elk still trying to do what he can. The equalizer down pays on as well as well. Oh, right. it's on, it's on three. Trophy dives onto the back line, but misses. The Shuriken as Delight will fall first. Pay's doing everything he can as Peanut has to dash away. The center will hit him from long range. Now Doran forced away. It's a two for one, so far in favor of... An incredibly tense situation. Chobi? Chobi going in, caught with the last embrace, but he goes into the Twilight Shroud. TP now invested by Genji. The Dragon Doran able to dash away. Shun going in with Cataclysm, but now Delight can really open up. Magnus Storm not quite off cooldown. Doran has a stopwatch, but all he can buy is the second the equalizer now out. Doran falls. Chobi looking to hit him. He dashes back in with the Abyssal Voyage. So. Brings him forward. And Chobi is shut out of the fight. BLG. Doran waits too long with the stopwatch. Wants to get his Meganor. Ends up going down and then on. Knocks off Chobi. That's going to be Baron. Doran holds his flash. Genji. The uncoordinated and BLG power. Power play for the next two minutes. Genji's backs are against the ropes. The gold lead basically oh. even. The hometown favorites of Genji. Ultimate Peanut. Onto Shun. The killer instinct going forward as well. They can lock Shun up and they'll shut him out. Top lane. Baron remains for 30 seconds. Delight spotted by Shun. Mid lane tower falls to Genji, but BLG will get a tier two in the top lane in answer. Baron's still here. BLG, they know where Peanut is. Chovy can TP though, but ideally he wants the back. Doesn't get to. Now TPing in as well. Chovy gets in. Has to dash away, but Shun said I was land the knock of the shockwave. Was waiting, couldn't quite find his mark, but the flames are spitting from Bin and Chovy cataclysmed into an early grave. And now Genji on the back foot. BLG, five members strong, will take the in him. Will they look for more? I mean, why wouldn't they? They have the Nexus in their eyes. BLG are looking to end it here. Hayes, Doran, Delight, and Peanut. Four members strong for Genji trying to defend, but BLG as five push in the first Nexus tower down. Delight can the still engage, the Shockwave finds two! But the Magnus Storm from Delight onto the backline immediately. Locks up BLG for a second, the Nar back from Doran as well. It's all it's on not enough. He's trying to do everything he can to cease and desist under the tower. Will shut out Bin, Pays dancing and weaving his way around the fight. No minions left though, but BLG means they have Of BLG, the gold is pretty much dead even, but it feels like that this series has been all... They are one Nexus Tower away from a Nexus. One moment away. What little us. vision Genji have. Delight needs to be careful. Awesome Grace is going to hit him. He's going to try and jump away, but the chase is on. The equalizer coming out as well. Delight can look for the re-engage. Doran goes in with the Meganar. Pays now dives onto the back line. Delight already down, but they killed off Belk as well. Shun tries to get in with the Cataclysm, and he'll get the shutdown onto Pays. And now it's all on Chovy. He's dashing. He's dancing around the fight. The perfect execution for BLG may be too much. Chovy buys a second, but he just can't buy the win. BLG forced Genji out of their own jungle. Drop, I thought. Pace can carry this whole fight, but then it was Yakao Shockwave combined with Shun's ultimate that was enough Patience to the, the TP. TP comes in behind. Chovy looking for something. Delay already caught out by Bin. He's going to have to dash away. On going in with the Abyssal Voyage. Chovy looking for that flank position, but the oh! Equalizer coming down. And now, oh, once again, doesn't quite get him into the wall. Elk gobbled up as On is going to spit him out, and the tower's already gone down. Dawning Shadow out as Peanut falls. Everyone 
on Genji is so low. Elk still full HP pretty much as he heals up with a piercing dark. And Genji just cannot find the pick they're looking for. That's going to be two inhibitors down now. And BLG, they might try and look for the end. And everything invested by Genji. No ult on Delight, not on Pays either. Yagao still has the shockwave to send a shock through the crowd here in Busan. Pays low again, rooted up. The shockwave just short. The stopwatch from Pays buys a second. But Shun still has the GA. Chovy trying to clear out the minions as the Nar back from Doran once again. GA. But on just takes for days. GA coming out from Shun. And now it's all on Chovy. That's it's it. all on Pays. And we were told Busan was the church of Chovy. But what's a god to five non-believers? BLG will face Weibo in semis.